it's early on a Sunday morning. Just getting uh, getting the train ready to uh, transport more logs. Okay, so we're all ready to go now. Start Ivy off by uh, putting the key in. Then we've got the on switch. It's the battery meter there. We're in forward, so we're ready to go. More leaf fall since Friday. We just plow on through it. We've got the coaches stored here at the moment, and you can see there's a lot more to move. Loaded up and ready to go. And I've sustained a terrible injury. It started as a framework to hide the pipe, but uh, it's developing into something completely different. It's a few hours later now on this uh, very pleasant autumn Sunday, and um, yeah, some uh, I've done a few trips, some larger logs this time, and uh, work is progressing on the, uh, the pipe protector stroke tunnel stroke storage unit. One thing I found was that when the engine was running the other way, obviously when it goes around the loop, it comes back facing the other way. It was hitting this tree with the uh, roof. And uh, so I had to shave a little bit off and get it pulled tight here. And it's connected to that other tree over there. So this is the original point that was um, made from a five inch gauge point and what we got here is we've got a spring just there which uh, if, if a train comes through it it will spring back like this so I only need to change this if I'm going into the shed because everything goes around the loop one way every time so then it goes around the loop comes out through there this point fixed in position at the moment because I only need to use that if I'm doing anything with the other shed which I'm not at the moment so that will be uh, that will have a lever on it at some point and this point here also springs back when things come over it that blade and that blade spring back and then when you reverse you can go into the shed with the engine so the only time I need to operate a point at the moment is that one for putting the engine back in the shed. So I know it's only a few days after I posted the other video, but um, lots has been happening. Um, done a lot more work on the, uh, the tunnel, if you want to call it a tunnel or a storage shed, because what I'm hoping to do is keep the coaches in here 
to uh, keep them a bit more protected. We've got there's the water pipe comes up there and over there and down there. And this was all just made from old bits of timber and bits of corrugated um, sheet, which was from a neighbour's shed. Kind of looks like it's been here for years. Can't get out now, see? Can't get off now, look. Yeah? Ignore the messy shed. All the fields are here. See a bit of the water pipe work there. Tricky to get out in places with ivy round this way round.
So I thought I'd made this plenty wide enough, but uh, still one one way I find that we get a little bit of a, just a bit of the roof there, just catches on here. So I'm just gonna, I'll just uh, get a bit of that sawn out, easily enough to do. This is the emergency emergency uh, what do you want to call it I don't know knob um, and then we've got the uh, mad and wise speed controller there this is this is how the bell works So yeah, the bank has held up very well, getting covered in moss now. It's pretty beautiful coming through here in the autumn. A blanket of uh, leaves which are falling all the time. Unfortunately, post box end has had to close due to the uh, problems with the uh, environment, but uh, it will open again. reason going this way I've found it has derailed a couple of times and most of it's been solved but it's just come off here so I'm going to go and investigate. Usefully you can get down and have a good look at this uh, in this position and uh, it's always a pain if it's the uh, rear bogey wheel that's come off but uh, we'll get it sorted. And if you wonder what these handles are for, that's exactly what they're for. Putting the engine back on the track if it ever comes off. And it's a heavy beast. But yeah, that's worse. Sometimes you have to resort to the jack. Success. And now I've got some track levelling to do. So I've got Wayland over again and he's going to try this over the bit of track which I've just re-ballasted. He's taken two buckets, two of those buckets there, to level this up. So hopefully it won't come off this time. And if it does come off, I hope you don't end up down the bank. Bail out. Yeah, bail out. If it, if it falls off, just jump that way. But he's going very steadily. He's a sensible man. It's about there where it come off. Look See the up. fear on his face? That's just the ballast. You're squashing the ballast, you see. So, to put Ivy back in the shed, we uh, pull that point over against the spring, which is there, you probably couldn't see it in the other shot. And then we put the engine back in the shed, like so. Ian Hawk 
clay.